Okay, it is New Year's Day, and Kevin and I have been to Walmart, and you'll see that haul. Um, if it's not already up, then, then it'll be up soon. Um, but I wanted to let you know that we already turned down a dinner invitation, and uh, Kevin said that he's gained like 10 pounds in the last four months, so he wants to start eating right again, again and getting back in shape. So, um, but I wanted to let you know, you know, on my, um, video about how I lost 89 pounds, that one, if you watched it, um, I wasn't just exaggerating when I said you can't eat out at all. Um, now that's when you first start. We're used to doing this. And so we know how many calories we're, we've gotten really, really good at it. So if we go out to eat, it's no big deal for us because we've been doing this for so many years. But if you're just starting out, then I wouldn't recommend eating out at all to begin with. Um, but we did turn down a dinner invitation because it's in the middle of the week. And uh, we, you know, we're coming off of Christmas and then New Year's Eve. And, you know, Thanksgiving was right before that. So we've just been eating a lot of junk lately. So we're going to try to get back into the swing of things. Um, so you just have to get serious about it and you have to really really want to do it um, and you can't give up you know if you don't lose uh, weight at first it's okay just it's working just keep going but uh, anyway we're on our way over to Andrews right now it's Christina's Keurig that she got for on Christmas Eve you saw her open it and then this is the um, holder that we gave her and her uh, coffees and then it it swivels like this, and then she has a lot more on that side. So she has plenty to choose from. For Andrew's uh, big ships that we bought him uh, several years ago, one. these are the Legos. We bought him the big one in the middle, and then how did he get the other two? He bought one, and I think your dad bought one. Yeah, and then these are many characters, and... That Hulk, we actually got that at uh, Downtown Disney at the Lego store. And then um, he has these other, these are the mini Legos that, um, the friends that we gave Christina in her stocking. And there's like three of those sets. That's what they look like out of the package. And then there's his Lone Ranger Man. And then these are the Star Wars. Uh, this is the big man that Kevin made him out of paper a while back, but he has all kinds of uh, mini figures. He just doesn't have them all sitting out. A bunch of them are, are down there. He also has this uh, this castle. This castle, uh, this castle was uh, his years ago, and it's there's pieces, more pieces of it down there, and it looks really cool put together. And then these containers come from uh, Target, and there's a lot of little men in there. And then there is another uh, container, and it's probably full of men, too. This is what Aner and Christina's comforter looks like out of the package, and you can see it's the peacock. So it's really, it's really pretty. So Kevin has his rolled gold uh, pretzels and his snack bags, and how many do you get for 100 calories? 50, 53 3 56 out of kind of 50s I don't know 50 so and then he'll put them in these snack bags and then this will be his uh, sweet snack for the night I mean sorry his salty snack for the night <laughs> and actually some tuna casserole tonight for dinner this is uh, you make it the same way really that you make the chicken noodle casserole I did a video on it a while back Except you add a uh, half a can. Uh, well, this is a small batch. Normally, you would add just a, a whole can of cream of mushroom soup instead of the cream of uh, chicken soup. Um, and you add uh, tuna, a can of tuna, instead of the chicken. And it's really, really good. And it's a, it's a cheap dinner is what it is. And then Kevin, um, that's my... Uh, cheese with jalapeno i've done a video on that and then kevin is eating uh 100 calorie pringles with what is that turkey turkey, turkey and a pudding cup this is his 
uh, diet for the new year. So how many calories is that? It's 280 calories because yeah. you have two slices of 35 calorie bread. And then how much is the meat? 50 and it's got mustard. So mustard's no, no calories. calories and then 100 calories and 60. So. Yeah, so that'll be a good dinner. Okay, Christina, how much does he weigh? 16 pounds, 13 ounces. Oh, you look so cute. He's so happy there. I know. So that was Gavin at the doctor's office. He has a little cold. Um, they said that he didn't have a fever. His ears are clear. His lungs are clear. Um, it's just, it's all up in here. And he... He has a lot of mucus, and I know TMI, but he has a lot of mucus, so it gets uh, caught, I think, and then it makes him cough, and he sounds awful, and he can't sleep, and then Christina and Ainer can't sleep, so Christina wanted him to take him to the doctor just to make sure he was okay. They didn't prescribe him any medicine at all. Um, they said to just put some Vicks. Uh, they, she could, she has, she bought the humidifier, she uses Vicks in that, but the a uh, lady that saw him said she could put Vicks on his feet. Uh, maybe that would help him sleep better. So, anyway, that was him at the doctor's office. And uh, this is his first real cold, so Christina's worried. Uh, but, um, and I would be worried too, you know, if when your baby's getting choked like that, that's very, very scary. So, I'm glad she took him. Uh, she did, uh, she's done what she can do, and now he just needs to, to get over this. So, um, as for me, I'm back home and I've started some laundry and heat me up a toaster strudel. Kevin is eating a sandwich for lunch. I had a bag of 100 calorie popcorn because I've had a toaster strudel. Uh, but Kevin's eating this ham. What kind of ham is it, Kevin? Show Black the package. Black forest Black... jelly fresh Oscar Mayer. Okay, and it's 50 calories and you get what? Six, six slices. Six slices. And that's good. I mean, it's it's uh, thin, but it's not paper thin. It's so a good si size sandwich. Yeah, six slices is really good. And will you have chips with that? Or? Yeah, like uh, Pringles or pretzels or something like that. Yeah, it used to say six slices. Now it just says per serving, but it's always been six slices. So. Yeah. So five or six, and that, that makes a really good sandwich. And Kevin doesn't care if he has cheese or not. So um, he forgoes the cheese. I like a slice of the 45 calorie cheese, the 2%, but he just puts mustard on it. And mustard, uh, regular mustard, yellow mustard doesn't have any calories. So you could have as much of that as you want, but you have to like mustard. So these are the 100 calorie, um, if I can, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> the sour cream and onion Pringles. And yeah, Kevin just takes them out, lays them on his plate. But that's a nice cup to take uh, take anywhere with you. And you could keep those in your purse and they wouldn't get squashed or a bag or whatever. Okay, and Kevin's also gonna have a cup of fruit and this is uh, sugar free. So it's only what, 60 calories or 60. 80? 60. 60 calories. And so. The whole meal is only 280 calories. Yeah, 280 for the sandwich and the um, chips and the cup of fruit. And Kevin really likes that uh, dull fruit. And I think uh, this is uh, orange with uh, peaches, I think. So either one, they're really good. But you like the cherry one the best. I oh, probably like the cherry the best because it has different fruits in it. So this one, that one just has pears in it. But that's less calories than a uh, Lean Cuisine uh, pizza. I uh, on your lunchtime review, that pizza's on there, and the, yeah, the Hormel meals and all that, and you get a lot more food this way. Mm -hmm. Keeps your keeps your mouth busy. And something you could add to this if you wanted something to add that wouldn't be too many calories. We just didn't buy any. Um, a piece of lettuce add some Christmas to it. You could also add a couple slices of tomato. That wouldn't add a whole lot. I mean, a little bit of calories, but not a lot. Um, also, when I get sick of eating sandwiches, like just regular sandwiches, all I'll do is if I if I put the bread in the toaster and toast my bread, and then make the exact same sandwich with toast, it just changes it just enough to where if you're getting sick of just regular sandwiches, toasting your bread will change the flavor enough to where you can eat a few more of those and, and keep going. Something else you've added to these sandwiches before too is onion. A couple of slices onion, of onion. Onion or just even chopped up onion that we've had in the refrigerator. Just drill put them on top. Anything to change it up just a little bit enough to where you don't get sick of them. Because you'll get sick of them if you're just eating sandwiches. So. 
hopefully you can see this it is actually snowing outside I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera or not but it's really pretty and of course there's a big truck in the driveway never a dull moment at the Dunn's Baby Brothers which is the heating and air company that we use because we weren't getting any air coming out of this vent in the floor at all and very little out of the bathroom and the utility room. So what they did was they came and he crawled up underneath the house, which is not fun. And um, he found that the, the lines, it's got like a flex line uh, running uh, from the heater to these vents. Um, he said that it's getting really old and brittle. He said he got it pushed back on and, and clamped back on for right now, but uh, he recommends at some point in time we'll probably have to replace a bunch of those. Um, they also He also recommended that they're using they called it duck board or something like that. It's like a foam board that they use. Well, the company that put it in before used a lot of that that board to make the whole big duck work coming down from through the house. Um, he said it's much better if they use a sheet metal and actually use metal instead of that foam board stuff because it conducts the heat a lot better. It gets the heat back through the house a lot better. So I don't know if it was cheaper to use the duck board if that's just what, maybe that was the trend, um, you know, 15 years ago when it was done or 10 years whatever it was or or maybe it was uh, that's what that company used I don't know I don't know why they would use that but he said the metal is a lot better um, he said as far as the bathroom goes what's happening is they've taken one line and then they've split it off into two for the bathroom and the utility room so that's why you're not getting as much airflow is because you're splitting two vents off of one hole basically um, he said if they were to redo that they would they would run a new sheet metal trunk line from the heater blower all the way back and try to actually run a piece of sheet metal back into that room to where it's not big runs of these flex tubing going everywhere um, which sounds a lot nicer it sounds like what should have been done in the first place but you know if you're trying to save money on it or maybe that company was just a cheaper company uh, maybe they just didn't do that kind of stuff so anyway so did it's you, working here did and, you ask him how much it would cost to no, do that? no that's something he said it's working fine now and that's something maybe they can come back when it gets warmer they can actually where they can dig around in the house and, and work on stuff so i'm not worried about it right now as long as it's warm i mean i can feel the heat coming up right now um feels a lot better now what was wrong right there because the that heat, was the one where the trunk line was going the heat wasn't coming out of this vent at all right and there was a big long he said it's 30 feet long piece of uh, that flex tubing it's about this big around and mm -hmm. it's got like it looks like a dryer vent but mm -hmm. it's got insulation around it and then a piece of plastic around that mm -hmm. and he said since it's so long they had to put two pieces on some kind of little metal tube and he said that's getting brittle and it's it started to crack and fall off so he cut it and put it back on and he said but it's all brittle so it's, it's gonna the longer it sits under there the more it's gonna happen so that's why it wasn't there from there is because it was all blowing out through that crack. So it was heating up really good somewhere else underneath the house. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. For dinner, I'm going to have a PB2 sandwich. This is the chocolate. And a lot of people don't like the hill. I love the hill personally because it has a, a little crust on it. And I'm going to have the Progresso vegetable. And then I'll show you what Ashley made herself for dinner. She made herself baked macaroni and cheese and she will eat on this for probably three more uh, meals so it makes a lot and then Kevin is having same old, same old. the same old same old uh, sandwich and chips and, I did add. and fruit and he yeah he onions. put onions on it to add a little bit of flavor so that'll be good this is the different fruit cup for the pears the pears so that's different from peaches. the cherry peaches Peaches? I think it's peaches. So that'll be good. I've been reading a lot today, and um, I'm actually using a, a Sony a book reader that has been Kevin's for a long time. He actually bought this back in 2008, I believe, from Amazon, and um, I will show it to you. So this is the book reader, and it, it has a nice cover on it. And you open it up, and this is the book I'm reading right now. It's a Philippa Gregory book. Uh, but if I want to, I can go back to the menu. And you see I'm reading The White Princess, and I can continue reading. I can skip to the end, which I don't know who would want to do that. Table of Contents. But then if I hit Menu again, 
Then it goes back to uh, the books that I have in here. And uh, I only have a couple of books in here right now because I had Kevin fill it back up for me and I had him delete a bunch that uh, I had read or I was never going to read. But I want to show you this. This is really cool. I can lay in bed at night and if I don't want to... If, if Kevin wants to go to sleep and I want to stay up, I can pop this in and hit on. And let me turn my desk light off so you can see. And see, it lights. Um, I can turn the lights out in the room and you can see better. So you can see that it's lit up. And I can go back to the book I was reading, The White Princess. And I can continue reading. And there I'm back to where I'm at. And that really helps. And you can make it um, uh, not as bright. Or you can have it really bright. And so I'm really uh, loving this uh, ebook reader. So just um, I just wanted to say about the book reader too. Um, I know this is this is heavier than the new book readers that are out now. Um, and they're probably a lot thinner and everything. But this one was already bought. And uh, Kevin did not need this anymore because he uses his iPad. So um, he lets me use this one. And I just don't see any uh, use in buying a newer one. Uh, because we have this. Why not use this? Why let this sit in a drawer or something like that when I can use this? And, um, you know, it's already bought, so it's like it's free, even though it was bought back in 2008. So, I think it's worth it. So, tonight, um, some of our shows come back on. And one show that we haven't seen in, it's probably been off for like a year, is called Rehab Addict. And I know by the time I put this on YouTube, the show will have already aired, but you can look for it. Rehab Addict comes on DIY. It also comes on HGTV, which is where we see it. So if you get DIY, you're actually, you're already a, a season ahead of where I, I am. Um, but I love the show. Um, it, um, the lady's name on there is Nicole, and she renovates uh, historic homes. And a lot of them have uh, been very poorly treated or they've caught fire or horrible things have happened to them. And she totally renovates them from top to bottom. So uh, we love this show. And uh, Elementary also comes back on tonight. And if you haven't caught that, it's a really, it's a great show. Uh, it's a Sherlock Holmes show. So, um, anyway, that's what we're going to do for the rest of our night. So, I'm going to say good night now. Now you can really see it.